The following story uses words that some may find disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. March 27, 1985, would come to be known as a day that not only shook the community of Westine, but an entire country. A double-decker school bus, filled with high school kids from poor school four and two, were on their way home. One witness said that it appeared that a tire had blown out, sending the bus swerving on the Luz Bridge in Westine. The double-decker smashed through the fence and plunged into the reservoir. Around 3,000 people gathered as doctors and nurses battled to save lives, while some parents of the submerged watched in horror as they tried to save their children. Multiple students and onlookers jumped into action to try and do whatever they could to rescue those still submerged in the waters, including Peter Kuhn. Peter Kuhn, a 17-year-old high school student, getting ready to go to college to become a teacher the following year, was one of the first to exit the bus and climb onto its roof. Knowing that all his friends were still under the water, he dove back in, grabbing whoever he could, to bring them back up. He was able to unselfishly, save the lives of five students, however, when he dove in the sixth time, he didn't resurface. Peter, along with 41 other students, lost their lives that day. A public mass funeral was held in the Heroes Acre at West Park Cemetery on April 1, 1985. A memorial was placed next to the reservoir in remembrance of all the young souls who lost their lives that day. A memorial service is also held every 27 March at Forinto High School. This disaster will be forever remembered, as will the heroes who selflessly put their own lives at risk to save others.